All right, welcome back. I feel like I welcome you back every time. All right, whatever. We are gonna try again with Robert. Um, I have a feeling it's not gonna go well, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll get a date out of him today? I don't know, we'll find out. This time on Bad Dad Saga. If you don't have anything, oh, nice to say don't say anything at all. I'm sure that's what it said. A bird in the hand is better than a bird in the eye. I don't know what that means. No, no, no. I always forget how long it takes to load these dates sometimes. I feel like... Ah, oh, here we go. <sighs> I really enjoyed the night I spent with Robert. <laughs> but he's been dodging me ever since. I really want to see him again. I've tried messaging him a few times and... Well, Dad Book says he hasn't read them. I haven't seen him... I haven't even seen him come out of his house, actually. Uh, I decided to send him one last message, figuring that uh, this will produce the same result. Hey man, I, I don't know where you've been, but we should grab a drink soon. I walk away from my computer because at this point I know he's not messaging me back anytime soon. I linger in the kitchen. Oh, I'm all cut up on work, whatever that is. Uh, the house is relatively clean. Hmm, maybe I should do something nice for Amanda. Oh, I know, I'll bake her a pie says the guy who doesn't know how to do anything in the kitchen. I root through the pantry and I pull out all the ingredients. This is going to go so poorly. All right, this is an old family recipe that I used to make with my grandmother when I was just a wee boy. I lost the actual recipe card a long time ago, but uh, I think I'll be able to remember how to make it. Come on, Lyle. This dad is a train wreck. I start mixing the ingredients together for the crust until I get a nice dough. I throw some cherries into a saucepan make the filling. Normally I don't like to multitask in the kitchen, but uh, this cherry pie is a piece of cake. Pie? It's a piece of pie. I'm making a pie. <clears throat> oh man, I can never remember what temperature you're supposed to set the oven at. I'm pretty sure it's 375, but I could be wrong. Who am I kidding? I'm never wrong when it comes to this pie. My special twist in my grandma's recipe includes a secret ingredient that not even Amanda knows about really makes the cherries uh, extra flavorful. Oh god, why can't I remember what the secret ingredient is? More cherries, salt, almond extract. Ugh. 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 Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm gonna put in the extract. Oh, it's almond extract for joy! Oops, I accidentally poured a little too much in. Great, way too much in. Great, I'm sure it's great. Vicky's an art, and some of the most beautiful art is made from mistakes. Not, not like this, my friend. I finally get the pie in the oven. Uh, how long am I supposed to leave it in there? 50 minutes? No, I'll just wing it. Man, it's gonna be so excited this pie is going directly in the garbage. That kid loves a good pie, which this will not be. I have a seat at the kitchen table and do word jumbles until Amanda comes home. I can hear the door slam open. Yo, Pops, what smells like pie in here? Why, my dear, it's pie, sweetie. Amanda darts off of the oven, looks inside. Yes! Oh, you're gonna be so disappointed. Hey, it's not done, be patient. Mm -hmm. What's your angle here? Huh? Kaiser, an objective-based confection. What are you trying to get out of me? Uh, fine, you caught me. Nothing. I've been leading a double life. Amanda, I have terrible news for you. I'm actually a pro skateboarder, an aspiring astronaut, and Meg Robert. Lifestyle is calling me back, and I must go. One last job. You know how it is. This pie was the only way I knew how to tell you. Well, I appreciated the years we spent together, but a trade-up is a trade-up. Remember when you went. Remember, remember me when you're kicking your feet up in Ibiza. Thanks for all the pie. You share a cordial hmm. handshake. Oh, this game makes me want to be a dad. I wait a few more minutes before taking the pie out of the oven. I set it on a rack to cool and guard it so Amanda doesn't dig into it hmm. before it's ready. Huh. What? Hmm. Does it look kind of weird to you? Oh, yeah, that would be. um me take an artistic license on what cherry pie means to me uh, emotionally. I'm just saying this because, you know, um, it seems like you might have baked this pie incorrectly, and you're currently, um, right now, trying to pass it off as a good thing? Hmm. Um, no, it's art, sweetie. Is it art when you accidentally baked a whole uncracked egg into the center of my 12th birthday cake? Yes. Well, it's... <clears throat> Was it art when you tried to make brownies and accidentally created chlorine gas? Wow, how did I do that? 
Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Uh, in fact, I would call that science more than art, but um, was it art when you just eat the pie pan? I cut us a few slices and we sit down to eat. The cherry filling oozes out of the sides and the buttery crust glistens. I watch as Amanda takes the mic. Oh, what's wrong? Is it is it not good? Amanda winces and fans her mouth. No, 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 I just burned the heck out of the roof of my mouth. This pie is amazing. Sorry for doubting you. Really? I breathe a sigh of relief and take a bite. She's right. The pie is pretty incredible, as it always is. Ah. Really? I'm really proud of you for making a pie without burning the new house down. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I got a few dad tricks up my dad's sleeve. Maybe fathers aren't as bumbling and stupid as the media make us out to be. Maybe we as a society should have a little more respect for fathers as a whole. Dad, your sleeve is on fire. I run to the sink and pull myself out. Pride will be my undoing. Eh? Amanda and I clean up the kitchen and play a little more living room. Oops. Before she retreats to her room to do homework. Uh, I go back to my world. We're jumbos. Hey, this one spells cat. Wow, I love these dates with Robert. The rest of the evening trickles by. We eat dinner. I help Amanda with one of her scholarship applications. And we both start getting ready for bed. I decided to check dad book one last time before I climb into the old, uh, the old bed. Still nothing from Robert. Huh. I hope he's not dead or anything. I turn out the lights and I lie down. Man, I need to give up. Oh, just kidding. Uh, hey, Lyle. Hey, hey, Lyle. Come hang out with me. Ugh, what is that? I was just on the verge of falling asleep. I climb out of bed and try to identify the source of the dinging. My computer screen illuminates a dark room. I walk over to it, ready to turn it off when I notice what's happening on screen. It's Robert and he won't stop texting me. Yay! The winkity wink face. Well, that's not a uh, subtle. <laughs> but I mean, I did have fun with him the other night, and I and I have kept messaging him. So isn't this exactly what I wanted? Okay, winky face. I'll be right over. Er, you gonna kick me out this time? Question mark. Maybe. Hurry up. God damn it. I reluctantly throw on a jacket and head outside. I was going to bed in full clothing. Okay, whatever. When I get to Robert's place, the door is already unlocked. Why am I doing this? He has succulents. That's cool. As much as I feel like hooking up with Robert again is maybe not the best idea. Well, that's a problem for tomorrow, Lyle. Hi. Hey. Hey. So, uh, how, uh, how are things? Robert stares at me. I... I know you're not here for small talk. I shrug. Uh, yeah, you got me there. Robert closes the gap between us and whispers a series of increasingly filthy things in my ear as he backs me into his room. Oh boy, I really did not think this was going to happen. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe this was a good idea after all. Okay, apparently I'm stoked about it. Great. Great. Hey. Robert nudges me awake. Hi. Oh, hey. Are you kicking me out? Kicking is a strong word. It's more like a gentle, friendly push. Gentle and friendly are not words I would ever use to describe Robert. Nope. Murdery, maybe. I sit up and stretch. Oh, God. I'm so sore. I haven't had hickeys like this since college. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh, I'm not doing this again if you're just going to force me to leave. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say, and you'll say that next time to you filthy animal. I throw my clothes back on while Robert smokes a cigarette on his balcony. Oh, what, I didn't sleep in my clothes this time? Okay, see you around, I guess. Yep. Oh, this is depressing. I walk back home and my bones are creaking. Great. Ugh, what's his problem anyway? <laughs> I just- I just want to go on a date. Oh, date complete! Wow, I did really well. Not mm. bad. Not great. These things don't mean anything, do they? I don't understand anything. Okay, click to continue. Knife Dad, two out of three. Well. It's been a long day. Maybe it's time to make another pie. I'm just about ready to pack it in after a few bites of ice cream from the freezer because I'm so depressed for why I'm pursuing this idiot. All right. Uh, I turn off all the lights. I walk down the hall to my room. Oh, man, I'm sad. Oh, I wonder if she's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. I pass her room. I hear a faint sound, but I can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she 
crying. I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. And the crying stops. Maureen now. <laughs> Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> In the dark, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed, and he's hugged up against her body. Oh, my girl. Is everything okay? <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. All right, cool. All right, I'll leave you. I back out of the room, close the door gently behind me. I don't care. I'm a bad dad. She immediately starts crying. Well, I mean, make up your mind, Amanda. Is something wrong or isn't it? You know? Wow, I have no idea what has her so upset. She seemed totally normal. And normal people don't cry. Now, I feel awful just leaving her to cry, but, you know, uh, I probably would just make her more upset if I tried to do anything else, so, you know, whatever. I can't stop mentally cycling through all sorts of awful things she could be dealing with right now, except that I'm not doing that at all because I'm a bad dad. I'm really just thinking, like, what? How do I get Robert to like me, like, as a person and not just a body, you know? Anyway, more than anything, I just want her to be happy and also safe. Oh, I have a hard time falling asleep because I'm, you know, just thinking about Robert. But when I do, you know, when I do this, see, this sentence doesn't make sense. When I do, okay, I have a hard time falling asleep. But when I finally do fall asleep, I'm still thinking about Amanda. N well, no, you're sleeping. So you're not thinking. You're actually dreaming now. Potatoes, potatoes. I hear Amanda walk in the door. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this not the... Is this like later in the day? Okay, I hear her make a beeline. She's trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin? What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Oh, no. Yeah. She sits down at the table across from me. So, I want to talk about what happened the other night last night. Uh. Ugh. Amanda looks away. Why are you so upset, baby girl? What's going on? Um, I told you I don't want to frigging talk about it. Well, you've been giving me an attitude lately, and I'd like to know why. It's really, it's none of your business. What happened? Is it something uh -huh. I did? No, Dad, can't you just drop it? Amanda, please talk to me. I feel like you're drifting away from me. I don't have to tell you everything about my life. I'm an adult now. You should treat me like one. Amanda, I'm only pressing this because I care about you and I want you to be okay. And the other night when I should have probably asked more about your life, I didn't because, uh, not because I didn't want, not because I don't love you. It's just that I was thinking about Robert. But if you're not going to tell me, then fine. No matter how much you don't want me to care about your health and well-being, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm your dad and it's my job. <sighs> That's all. Well, if you ever decide you want to talk about it, I'm always here for you. I reach out and touch Faith. I reach out and squeeze her hand. Mm -hmm. Always. Okay. She gets up. I'm going to go now. All right. I watch her go into her room and close the door. I did not bake her a cake because I'm a bad dad. Welcome. You oh got my that. gosh, am I a bad dad. All right, well, uh, next time on Bad Dad Saga, we'll go on another date with a married man, and then, you know, we'll find out what horrible endings this horrible dad is going to get for his life. I feel like that was literally, like, 15 minutes max. Um, well, you know what? Tuesday's episode was a long one, so I'm going to not even apologize. Okay, thanks for, uh, everything. Thanks for everything. I will see you next week. Thank you.